What are you wearing for Halloween? Americans are planning to treat themselves as they trick out for October 31st this Halloween to, to the tune of nine billion dollars nine billion is going to be spent on candy decorations costumes and the average person apparently is now going to spend about 26 bucks on their outfits i know you're saying liz come on i'm going to spend so much more or i'm making mine from what i have in my house countdown viewers what are you going as this year tweet me at liz Clayman. i need to see a pic picture and how much you spend or plan to spend on your halloween Avatar or whatever you're dressing as, Atlas Clayman. There's a good bet, though, that you're buying that costume at Party City. Nearly a thousand stores, is that correct? That's correct. Wow. First on Fox Business CEO Jim Harrison with us. Jim, tell me, that's you have grown exponentially over just the past five years, correct? Correct. We uh, also have 300 pop-ups. So in total, we'll be putting about a thousand stores on the street to help folks this Halloween celebrate in a special way. All right. What are people dressing as? You know, we have an array of different costumes. And so, I love the shark. What, people just put this on their heads. <laughs> uh, can we take the shot? There we go. There's the shark. We've got all kinds of other masks. But my question to you is, what are the themed costumes that are super hot right now? Sure. So from, uh, from the standpoint of IP, Descendants is very, very hot. Shadow Ninja is very, very hot. Wonder Woman for everyone from 12 to 25 to 95. Wonder Woman. Do men dress as Wonder Woman too? Some do, and that's perfectly fine. <laughs> God bless and, them. And then, and then also, uh, on, a, on a generic standpoint, Cop Cutie, which is a sexy cop costume, which every year seems to be in the top ten. Yeah, there's something about a really cute woman or a girl holding the handcuffs, the whole shtick, right? I got because my daughter once wanted to be a police right. officer. She was just cute. She wasn't sexy, but um, I, what about this this uh, focus right now on I guess, political figures. Uh, I would have thought that President Trump might be a hot mask. Not so uh, much this year. We, we don't have a President Trump mask. We have a comb over President mask. <laughs> and we also have a comb over President ride along, which is a costume that fits up in your legs. And basically, he become, you go piggyback on, on, on comb over President. Oh, I see, I see. Well, you know, how much money do you, do you really look at for this holiday? Everybody says that now Halloween is leapfrogged over so many others. Nine billion dollars is no small figure. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a very big number and it incorporates a lot of things. Candy, which is obviously a very, very big component. Costumes, decorations, and for us, really accessories, because the ability for us to offer you the ability to differentiate yourself, as opposed to simply buying a costume in a bag from some of the other suppliers of costumes, is really important. Because today, kids and young people want to differentiate themselves, yeah. take a selfie, put on Facebook, and be special. All we hear about and all we cover lately is the retail ice age. Brick and mortar companies are going by the wayside. Yet you are in many a strip mall. There's one in Edgewater, New Jersey, near me. How are you feeling? I mean, what sense do you get from your brick and mortar stores? Sure. Uh, this past, this, this current Halloween, we've done several surveys and I've seen other surveys that indicate that anywhere from 60 to 75 percent of consumers want to shop for their Halloween on, in, in the store. They may go online for inspiration. Only 22% say they're buying their, their Halloween online. Then they can always go to PartyCity.com. But at the end of the day, folks want to go to the store. There's something exciting about the party store. Yeah. There's a differentiation. You go, if you've got that party coming up at the last minute, you're going to go to the party store and see all that great stuff yeah. and just build that basket and have a great celebration. Well, I find it a fascinating business, and you are a brick and mortar that's surviving. I hear, though, that the hottest costume of all is the skeleton King Tut. Have you heard about that? Day of the Dead is very, very good. Ah, I see. Well, we've got one the King very Tut. special one here. <laughs> That's that my is, floor is director. Really, is really a very special Day of the Dead costume. Funky Tut. He lasts for a long time. <laughs> so good to see you. May it be a wonderful holiday for you, Jim. Liz, thank you very much. Good seeing you. Jim Harrison of Party City.